Hey guys, so I have Lucas's Easter basket and I thought I would share what he will be getting for Easter this year. So not too much stuff. I still need to go to Target and I'll probably, I don't want him to have a lot of candy. So I might just pick up like a small pack of the Peeps and then just kind of what I do is I like to cut that up and give it to them in a long period of time. I don't like him to have one Peep. You know, because he might be all crazy with sugar. But I still need to go to the store and probably get a little pack of Peeps. But other than that, I think I'm done for his little Easter basket. So let me show you what I got for him. So actually, I got his Easter basket last year at Kohl's when it was on clearance. And then I got my aunt to embroider his name on the front here. I think I might want to try and find something else a little bit bigger, but I like to find things that are on clearance because I don't like to pay $20 or $30 for a basket. I don't know. That's just me personally. So hopefully one day in the future I can come across a good sale on the Easter basket and scoop it up for him. But for now this will work fine and I think it's cute. So. All right, he's starting, some of his socks are starting to be a little bit too small for his feet. He does have a big foot, I think. So I found these, and a lot of this stuff came from the Target dollar spot. I just thought that would be the easiest thing to do. So anyway, these came from the Target dollar spot, both a dollar each. One is Thomas and Friends, and the other is Mickey Mouse socks. And they're probably a little big for him right now. But when I wash and dry them, they might shrink just a little bit. So he'll probably be able to wear these pretty soon anyway. So I thought those were just cute. And he's just now gotten into the whole bubble thing. He doesn't know how to blow the bubbles yet, but he really likes to catch them and do that stuff. So I found this in the Target dollar spot as well. It was just a dollar for three different bubbles. It was like a blue green and an orange so this was also from the dollar target spot and there are 12 sidewalk chalk sticks in here and he might want to try and chew it so I'll have to kind of watch him with this because he still puts everything in his mouth but I thought this could be creative because he's starting to want to take like my pens and pencils and write on paper so I thought this would be perfect. We could go outside on the cement and just let him have it and he can just go wherever and it doesn't matter. So this was a great little buy. And they had this cup. I believe this was a dollar as well. It just has a little frog. He loves straw cups and it's nice because the straw can't come out. So I thought this was really cute with the little frog on it. And Two more things from the dollar spot. I got a plate and actually I picked up one of these last year in the dollar spot as well. This was a dollar but the one from last year actually has like Happy Easter I believe on it but this one doesn't but I thought these were just cute to collect and I put these in our spring bucket so whenever the year comes around and I pull the buckets out you know for our decorations then I pull his, his little plates out and he can start using these so I thought this was just really cute with some owls and a frog very cute and this one was a dollar this has some owls on it, and this is a spoon and a fork, little flatware. He hasn't tried any forks yet, so I thought this would be a great little start. He's still kind of iffy with spoons. He'll take a spoon and kind of like dig it in his yogurt, but then sometimes he still doesn't get the concept of putting it in his mouth. He still wants to like touch everything in his finger and then put it in his mouth, but I was like, well, the fork would be nice to start trying with where he can try and, you know, basically stab stuff and maybe he'll understand and put it out of his mouth. So you got to start somewhere, right? And last but not least, I took advantage. I'm not sure if they're still having it right now, but a few weeks ago, Target was having a big sale on the Dr. Seuss's books. They were all, or at least 90% of them were $5. So I just picked up another one to add to his collection. 
It's the Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You. So I just thought this was five bucks just to add in his little Easter basket and to add to his book collection. So, and like I said, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pick up one or two more little candy, little sugary treats for him. But other than that, I think I'm done for his Easter. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.